warm welcome to Hampden Park for the 2011 Scottish Cup final. The latest instalment of the oldest cup competition in the world. Well, Stuart McCall rested half of his regular team for last week's defeat to Celtic on the final day of the SPL season. Today, his side is restored to full strength. Six changes from that match. Back come Darren Randolph between the posts and captain Steve Crane at the back. Keith Lasley returns to midfield alongside Stephen Hamill, who's playing there as the holding two. Jamie Murphy and Stephen Jennings ahead of him, with John Sutton back to lead the line in a 4-2-3-1 formation. Near Lennon's Chaskers beat an altogether more simple one. Chris Commons replacing Jamie Forrest on the right of midfield. That's the only change from the side which beat Motherwell by four goals to nil last time out. And Neil Lennon, the final chance of Celtic silverware, the benchmark by which all managers of course are judged even more so in Scotland with Rangers and with Celtic. After such a turbulent season, will it be an end on a high? And it said last week, this isn't the end, it's just the beginning. He's on a six-month rolling contract, he's not sure if the result here will influence the board's decision to keep him on. He's been asked about his future all season and says he'll only tackle that question once it's fully ended. The rain continues to fall down here, it's going to make passing slick, it's going to make conditions difficult. And there's a first test for Darren Randolph. Commons to deliver, how will they deal with his input from the flanks? Ki Sung Young, it's back to Collins. It's off the top of the crossbar, and the flag does eventually go up. An early warning fired across the Motherwell bows. How tight was it? Well, it wasn't really in doubt. Gonna take in your pick. Hooper with an early sight. In some season for him. And he's six years ago playing non league football with Grays Athletic. Here he is in the Scottish Cup final. In fact, goals galore in his debut SPL season. As the captain Craig safely back to Randolph, he guides it safely upfield. Sure footing as well as handling will be needed in these conditions. Sunny elsewhere in the UK and elsewhere in the world, but it most certainly is not here, at least not yet. It's a small group back to Ki Sung Yong. Patient from Celtic. Forward by Brown. This is Commons. It's Gavin Gunning who's left back, having largely played as a centre half during his time here. An impressive one too. His loan at Blackburn expires at the end of this season. It's somewhere to bow out. Sutton crowded out, immediately surrounded by the hoop shirts. Two thousand and seven, of course, the last time Celtic competed in the Scottish Cup final. No silverware last season. And after losing out to Rangers in the SPL by just a point and in the CIS Cup, this their only chance.
He allowed to run a long way. Samras not allowed to run very far at all. Heels clipped by Hamill. And a quick free kick by Celtic. Motherwell just had enough about them to make sure that they weren't compromised. Sutton with a decent ball. This is Chris Humphrey. Sutton have pulled away. How he would dearly love to score. At such a stage as this against the side his brother represented earlier on in his career. Here comes Gunny. Only Sutton to aim for. Directed towards Sutton, who just can't direct it back. Mostovic is going to have a battle on his hands. He's old enough and wise enough. And the perfect timing. Somebody involved with Celtic. Says they entrust, at least for now, Neil Lennon. Certainly the boards have shown their trust in him. They backed him on all the big calls this season. Away by Humphrey. And there have been some big calls. Whole refereeing situation which erupted in October and November. Celtic feel they were vindicated in the end. Daniel McDonald resigning. This is Majstorovic. to Ki Sung Young. Back with Wilson. Followed by Brown. Celtic content just to keep possession at the moment. Snaffled away in midfield. And then a little too strong. It is absolutely throwing it down here. I don't want to shirk a challenge, Scott Brown. It's already been a big week for him. Called up to the Jamaica squad. It's been some season. For Emilio Izaguirre, though. Surely the buy of this season. Player of the Year, the SPL Player of the Year, and the Football Writers Player of the Year, the Honduran has had some debut campaign. And for Humphrey once more, it's watched out of play by Esguire. Looks like Scotland have missed out on Humphrey. by his manager too on this trophy three times whilst with Rangers says he'll draw on his experiences as underdog as a player with Bradford City his debut for Scotland came against Argentina who were then the world champions and he helped them win that if both sides play to their maximum he said Celtic should win but if Lennon sided just below that. And maybe there's a chance. Easy enough for Fraser Foster. Spent much of the opening eight minutes or so as a spectator. It's a small group. Doubled up. Yeah. 
Edgar will try once more. Clumsy. And an early yellow card. Well, that is a market, particularly in these conditions. Based on that replay, it's lucky just to be a yellow. Shin pad whizzing round to the back. It's a horribly missed time challenge for Maestrovic. that been later in the game then you do wonder the punishment might have been Motherwell's reward is only the free kick scooped up but over the top it will stay in play if Humphrey wants to keep it in he prefer the corner won't even get that said Celtic will have a free kick towards Samarash, who hasn't exactly managed to get himself back into the game yet. Here comes Isagire. This is Jing. Relatively gets the decision. He wouldn't have believed when he was on loan at Bury during the first half of this season that he would be playing in a Scottish Cup final, I'm sure. This time last year, he was at Rotherham United. Maestrovic cannot afford now to put a foot wrong after that early warning. Easy enough for Fraser Forster. Much has been spoken about Neil Lennon this season. Whether he needs uh, some kind of mental figure ahead of him in his first full season, of course, in such a high-pressure job, paying such a high price in terms of 24-hour security. And off comfortable enough. Motherwell just for a moment looking stretched at the back. It's Mogru's ball in, it's a delicious one too. It's a pretty good interception too by Sean Hutchinson. Maurice Ross didn't make the Motherwell starting 11. What he did say is they need to get in Neil Lennon's players' faces, play the game high up the field, press, hustle and harry keep them penned in because if they let Celtic get into a rhythm and play their game they can't compete on those terms at the moment they're more than holding their own stuck his eye off the ball Appealing for offside, in the end they got away with it because of the miscontrol. Certainly isn't traditional cup final weather. There's no shortage of traditional cup final passion.
Too long for anyone. Easy enough for Randolph. Broke John Ruddy's club record of 15 clean sheets in a season. Earlier this campaign, coincidentally, it did come against Celtic in their 2 0 victory at Fir Park in February. That's late, too. This is another chance to bring out the card. Leuvent is on the floor. And will it be the same colour? It is, but the challenge didn't look any better than that for Maestanovic. He didn't actually connect with the studs, which may have saved it just the slightest of touches on the boot. But it was high and it was late. And Keith Lastly joins the Celtic defender, Maestanovic, in the book. Maestrovic's defensive partner, Glenn Leuven, who came off worst. These conditions, you just cannot afford to make challenges like that. The ball was running away from him, the Celtic defender was... big, big favourite to get there first. He said Lasley, he was more nervous than he'd ever been before the semi-final of this competition, for someone with his experience just shows what a big occasion it was. And inside the first 15 minutes, we've had two yellow cards for two rash challenges. Certainly no quarter given on the field. Rubens is fine to continue. man, of course, who played in the FA Cup final in England not too long ago for Cardiff City. Made a defeat to Portsmouth in 2008. One time Sutton looking to build again. And he's out to Sutton. This is Humphrey. Again, he's just got it wrong. too much between the two challenges in terms of timing. Oh. Oh. Taken away by Hamill. An important role in that holding midfield area. So far he has been combative if nothing else. Sling and the herring at the moment, and they've got the ball back. Samaras sets off on the run now. He's had to check it, and the ball's given away in the end. So if he was looking for it, Craigan will find it. They do at least have a throw. Neil Lennon was able to lead his team out on this one and stand on the touchline. The touchline ban and had to watch from the stands as Rangers won an extra time in the CIS Cup final. It's another late one. Another yellow card. Hamill coming off worse. Second from Scott Brown. One warning. Nothing malicious about it. There's no way near the ball, though. Three yellow cards inside 20 minutes. Two in that crucial midfield area. The Celtic skipper. Keith Lashley, two. did lose a player, of course, in that cup final defeat to Rangers.
Zagheri sent off in extra time. Early ball for Samaras. Easy enough for Randolph. Neither keeper tested in the opening 20 minutes or so by set pieces or long range efforts. Both have been allowed to bed their way into the game, really. These are exactly the sort of conditions we'd expect a few to be fired in for a longer distance than normal. Turn ball. Way closed down. So again, they can't keep it in play. It's just run out of play. Tom Hankley up right back. He's excelled both here and in holding midfield for Motherwell. Wrong, did he? Approaching the midway point of the first half already. This is the first meeting in a Scottish Cup final between these two for 60 years. Maybe Celtic with a better of the head to head records. The most recent being last week. Motherwell did win 2 0 at Third Park back in February. Out of part, though. It's exactly six years to the day since their previous win, which also came at Third Park. Celtic probing down one side, now switching play to the left. This is Samaras, more central. We'll get it back. Mogru with space, a 2 2 8 4 in the centre. Teasing crosses just too far. The defensive head is not good enough. It's in towards Samaras, who can't direct it towards his strike partner. First time Celtic have had any joy down the flanks. Samaras using his height to get advantage, it just came too quickly for Hooper. We'll start. There will be no stage fright. Everyone knows what they need to do. And it certainly isn't mission impossible for his side. so far he's wide left and down the center this season he might be wishing he was playing down the center at the moment have to come in third looking for the ball Hooper back defending it'll be a little cleaner than that in these conditions with a 
talking to. Hamill away. Celtic looking to build again. It's a really good ball. Dancing through is Brown. Time perfectly. Scything run from midfield. It's the covering challenge from Hayley that snuffs out the danger. Sung Hyong. This is Hayley clear. You can just see how difficult the conditions are out there. Meaty challenge, though. He got the ball. How much the Jennings studs were showing. And he did get the ball. The way he followed through. And that kind of follow through is inevitable on a surface as well as this. Referee decided it was dangerous. Commons to deliver once more. Celtic with plenty forward. So many forward that a counter attack is a possibility. Some just let it run across his body. Samaras lurking, so too Hooper. Hamill away. No real chances as yet. It is intriguing. Neither side has managed to carve out opportunity. Of real promise. Celtic have a set piece here though and might try and do that. Oh, would come. The big defenders like Majstorovic. Montreal Whites. Wide, it's over the top of everyone. Movens, the final defender. This is Samaras, though, another one unable to keep possession. Good turn. This time, the referee says no. So get out of position. This is Humphrey. Doesn't have too many to aim for. The initial challenge just slowed him down enough for Majstorovic. Has pace to burn, but it wasn't quite enough to take him clear. Hately again. The challenge with the stud showing elicits the free kick from the referee. And lastly, after his early booking, he's going to have to be careful with challenges like that. Hooper sort of climbed over him. There's more contact from Hooper's boots than Lasley's. It. It's a rash challenge. Not one that Stuart McCall agreed with. Been nowhere near him. The referee has certainly drawn a line and set the precedent with the early bookings. Lilvin's deciding to bring it out of defence this time. 
Samaras deep and gives it away. Dutchman will rectify his own mistake. And one hit invited Samaras to make. Given away. Has been guilty this time. That's another rash challenge. When will they learn? Another yellow card, we're only half an hour in. Ki Sung Yong this time. Just look how far he travelled after he'd missed the ball. This right, the sending off won't be too far away. Neither manager, neither set of players wants that. Passions. Emotions run high in a cup final. Some of the challenges, though, have been quite ridiculous given the conditions. There's a man never short of passion. Of creative ability in the final third. Motherwell have restricted them so far, and they've done it well. Neither manager actually playing. All management career can be accused of not being passionate and fiery and in tune with the fan base. Sees Ki Sung Hyung. First effort, it's a wonderful goal! Super strike from the South Korean and Celtic lead. A quite magnificent shot. And just the catalyst that this game needed. Celtic for once able to cut through. The South Korean trying what no one had managed in the opening half hour. The first real strike on goal brings about the first goal of the final. And what a beauty. Well might he smile. First blood to Celtic. Impressive strike out of keeping with the game so far. Maybe that is exactly the sort of thing that it needed. Nicely done, Celtic controlling things now. This is Samaras very deep. Winning the free kick. That's his foul count is ticking over. to be Coleman's the way McGrew is standing to the other side of the ball may just be too far for a shot no one's told Coleman's that away by Hatley lost to Mulgrew Top. 
Watched out by Gunning. It's worth seeing that one again. Motherwell just stepped up. And while they brought players back to cover all eventualities, no one closed down key quick enough. It kept low, it fizzed away from Randolph. And he never got near enough. Meantime, here's Humphrey. Driven across goal this time. Hickley looking for options. Another one. Needing inspiration at the moment. Ten minutes to go until the break. Always gets them from the manager. Something up for Gunning! Oh! Off the underside of the bar and away. Forster was beaten and Motherwell still have it. A moment of real quality from the young defender. Almost brings Motherwell level. It's now Celtic who are rocking back on their heels. What was the point of that handball? Did he think the whistle had already gone? Because if it was intentional, then the referee is bound to issue a yellow card, isn't he? No advantage gained by Motherwell. He might have been doing that. The question is, why did he do that when he'd already been booked? Motherwell enjoying their best spell of the game. It's a poor free kick, though. <laughs> On towards Humphrey, it's going to roll out of play. This was some strike. Fitting away. Cracked off the crossbar with Forster nowhere near. So close to what would have been a massively memorable first goal. Certainly something to cling on to for Motherwell, who've risen in stature since falling behind. Gunning. Noticeably more attacking threat now. Motherwell squeezing Celtic too. Defending a little higher up the field. Risky for his Aguirre. Slip actually helped him. Cushion it back to his goalkeeper. <laughs> Keep with his head in where it hurts. Well, it took a while to get going, it may have been a slow burner. The game is certainly a little more life about it now. This is Brown, who was looking for that quick outlet ball. 
Now Humphrey. And he's something to aim for. Crosses an early one. That will appeal for something in the box, not for the first time. They don't get it. Needed to be an early cross, there was only one option for Chris Humphrey. John Sutton who got both the goals in that win at Firth Park in February. He's got a cracker here in the semi-final against St Johnston. to go until the break. It will be, you would think, a minimal amount of stoppage time. A busy half, though, for Callum Murray, the referee. That was one he said no to. will get the second ball and muscle his way through. Humphrey, nice little bit to cross. Again, it's a lunging challenge to clear the ball. intentional didn't it he's looking straight at the ball and clearly pushes it out of the way you can understand why Neil Leonard is infuriated he's no stranger to big games and big decisions Callum Murray he refereed the fifth round replay has now become one of the most infamous games of the season between Celtic and Rangers. Two sendings off in that one. We've already had a flurry of yellow cards here. Humphrey battling his way through. Can't quite keep it in play. seconds or so to go talking points galore one goal might have been two refereeing decisions which may well influence the remainder of the game the rain holds off and we might get a little more sensible tackling who knows Plenty forward here. Celtic with enough back to make the difference. Randolph way outside of his area. Yeah, yeah. 
Lee Hooper and Samaras inside the Motherwell half foot. This is Haley. On two with Humphreys, a good one. So two is that challenge, according to the referee. Just the one additional minute at Hampden Park. Celtic look like going in, protecting this one goal lead. Didn't always look like we'd get a goal. Since it coming, it's turned into a game. It looks like there may be more. This is Samaras. Will there be any more before the half time whistle? Does well. On through. That is a good one. So is the defending. Time for one last assault on the Motherwell girl. Well, it hasn't always bubbled and boiled, at least with quality. Plenty of tension. No small number of challenges to yellow cards, but Key's goal is what separates the sides. It might have been 1 1. Had Gavin Gunning's shot dipped a little earlier, smacked off the bar. So Motherwell in their first Scottish Cup final for 20 years, looking to emulate the heroes of 1991. Trail at the break. Half time, Motherwell nil, Celtic one. Welcome back to Hampden Park. Celtic leading by a goal to nil at the break. Ki Song Yong's Thunderbolt on 32 minutes. The difference between the sides in their first Scottish Cup final meeting for 60 years. But Motherwell's response, Gavin Gunning striking the bar, shows there is plenty of fight left in Stuart McCall's side. Now the manager electing to make changes at the break. Took a while to get going, but it certainly livened up after Key had given Celtic that lead. The rain has been teeming down at half time. The surface remains slick. The tackling remains erratic.
Neil Lennon is halfway towards his first piece of silverware as Celtic manager. Motherwell will have plenty to say about that there in the remaining 45 minutes or so. Short on clear-cut opportunities the first half. Calls elected to leave things as they are for now. Only five substitutes, remember, for both sides in the Scottish Cup. Francis Jeffers, Steve Jones among his attacking options. Samaras nicks it one side, might not get space enough to go the other. Good work from the referee's assistant, though, to avoid the challenge. Six matches since Motherwell last tasted victory. The win over St. Johnson in the semi-finals, actually their last one. Saved the best for the cup, knocking out the holders, Dundee United in the quarter-finals too. Goal scoring of late has been an issue. Just one goal in the last four matches and a one-all draw with Kilmarnock ten days ago. Keeping clean sheets, equally problematic. Thirteen goals leaked in those four matches. Including heavy defeats, 5-0 to Rangers, 4-0 against Dundee United, and of course last week, 4-0, Celtic won. Wasn't enough for the SPL title, though. That is why this trophy becomes so, so important. This is Commons, scoops it back in, but it had rolled out of play. Pressure. Lubin's back. Samaras will leave this one. To stay wide, though. <laughs> Lastly, in field. Johnny almost beaten to it. It slips all the way through past Hamill. This is Brown. Closed down. Motherwell starting to get in the faces of the Celtic players, as they promised before the game. Hutchinson dragged out wide and does well. A decent cross, Randolph has to punch. Hamill strong with Commons. This is the goal scorer. Also booked in that first half, but saw a strange number of rash sliding tackles. Lastly, into the book for Motherwell. Key joined by Brown. Sinus Wilson, and forward for Celtic in this one. Rastanovic, of course, also booked. Probably the worst challenge of the lot. This is key. Celtic playing percentages at the moment, keeping possession, even if it means going all the way backwards. At the moment, Kia and Mustadovic are just passing it to each other.
Wilson's waiting on the right-hand side. Instead, they go forward to Samaras. Wilson now on the overlap. Samaras looking for options. He's surrounded by Motherwell players at the moment. This is Wilson. Decent turn. Space opening up here. They have to go back. Four now to aim for in the centre. Morgru sliding it through. The offside not given. That Motherwell are appealing for Sagere on the overlap. Celtic looking for reward for their patient probing. So many to aim for. Hooper, Morgru, Samaras all in there. Attempt is blocked. Celtic close to a second goal. I'll have to build all the way from the back again. Still plenty forward though. Samaras is going the wrong way. Hately snapping at its heels. Lastly in there too. Brown keeps it. Collins wants it. Too long though for Hooper. Let's have a look. Hooper was in there. Now Randolph, who got himself just close enough. Hamill was caught out at one point, it looked inevitable. Lastly, was sliding in on the line too. Still remains a peripheral figure in the Motherwell side. He's had precious little opportunity, really. Gunning. He's across cross. Humphrey's waiting. First real save that Fraser Forster's had to make. Had to take it early. Did well to get the shot in at all. Kept his eye on the ball, though, under pressure. Strong enough to beat Fraser Forster. <laughs> the first rash tackle of the second half. We've waited eight and a half minutes. as dangerous as previous ones, a little clumsy in these conditions, enough momentum in the challenge to force anyone to the ground. Seems to bring up the thought. Stop nicely, shot his charge down. And then White, Hamill, and lastly, all forced back, but they do keep possession. It on the left-hand side, instead Motherwell keep it in the centre. Now it will come out to Gavin Gunning. And Thunderbolt already, this time his cross is charged down. Jennings forces it back. Chinson to Humphrey. Plenty still forward for Motherwell. We're keeping Celtic pinned back here. Samaras loses out, and now Murphy can run up the Celtic defence for about the first time. Quick to shut off any gaps, though. Lastly, is boxed in. Forward come the hoop shirts once more with Key. This is Mokru. Defending, intelligent defending. They had 
to be sure. It's a good whip ball from Charlie Mulgrew. Hutchinson aware of the position of Samaras. So too Craig. Small pace already about this Motherwell performance in the second half. Stuart McCall's words perhaps still ringing in their ears from half time. Jennings, space for Humphrey now, and plenty more forward. And so it's Aguero who keeps it in play. Here comes the Honduran. It's Gunning. Not too early with the ball, but a slip favours Humphrey, who hadn't anticipated it. His turn towards Sutton, important header. This is Gunning. Driven across goal. And here's the goal scorer to get Celtic out of trouble. Slip now. Full Celtics way, this is Samaras, real chance here, Hooper's waiting, the pullback doesn't come. And Celtic have wasted a real opportunity. Motherwell looking for the free kick, Samaras needed to play the ball early. Didn't come across, the Greeks' opportunities were closed down. Gunning penalised a handball. This decision seven always met with wholehearted agreement from either side. It may be continuing to pour with right. Fans are at least being treated to decent fare on the field. Samaras now requiring attention. Both Key and Craig are just watching the ball. Well defender coming out on top in that battle. still down the pause now rippling its way around Hamden Park Presumably be fine to continue. Celtic fans making an almighty noise in the stands. Approaching the hour, they still lead by Key's goal. Only two real attempts on goal in that first half. Keith flew into the corner, Gunnings crashed back off the crossbar. Samaras back on. Daniel Meisterovic. Prepares to deliver. Hutchinson clip. It's about this kind of time 
Managers are finalising their thought processes for substitutions. If indeed they intend to make any. This is Murphy. Coming just short of options at the moment. Samaras thinks he has the beating of Sean Hutchinson for pace, who does really well. Gets shoved to the ground for his trouble. Little doubt about that one. Sent Samaras sprawling in the box last week. Got away with it, no penalty. something here. For all their neat play and for all their endeavour. The game has been short on real opportunities. Something Motherwell will have to craft here to get themselves back in it. possession there's all sorts of space on the left immediately closed down and closed down well Humphrey's ball though puts them back under pressure this is Samaras elects to take it on the chest does well nice ball options on the far side it's all the way across neatly done from Mulgrew easy enough for Darren Randolph Samaras started it and finished it. And then, Hooper did really well to stay on side. Sustained wall of noise from the Celtic fans. Motherwell are responding well. At the moment, Fraser Forster, barring that one save from Humphrey, has been largely on trouble. Neither side have worked the opposition goalkeeper enough as their managers would have hoped, I'm sure. <laughs> nice smile from Gunning. He has only enhanced his reputation during his time at Motherwell.
Wonderful ball. No offside. This could be it. It should have been. Hutchinson to the rescue. Commons had timed it perfectly. Randolph beats it. Tell you what, Hutchinson is fortunate he didn't put it himself. It's well done from Sutton. Who has also found opportunities difficult to come by. Clearest opportunity of the game. Try to square it back across for Hooper. Wonderful ball from Brown. Gunning caught out of possession for about the first time. Anywhere other than the goal was good enough for Hutchinson. Score to Celtic both home and away in the first half of the season. One minute remains here. Disciplinary issue at the team hotel has served his punishment and now replaces Giorgio Samaras. Gives the Motherwell defence something else to think about. of respite that Commons chance to part Motherwell have been inching their way towards an equaliser that's rash though yellow card for the skipper it's been a little bit more disciplined in the second half at the first yellow the referee has had to produce Five now in the game. Commons looking to catch Randolph out. It's the legs of the goalkeeper. He was just trying to watch it wide. I'm not sure if he realised it was actually going on target. Commons to try and repeat that from the corner. but nobody forward to launch the counter-attack. <laughs> Motherwell 2 readying a change. As we tick into the final 20 minutes, they need to fashion an equaliser from somewhere.
long this time. Sutton has had precious little return from those sort of balls. Stokes had to do plenty of it on his own, but does well to keep possession. Celtic settle for the corner. Maybe now we will get the change. Two balls on the field at the moment. Not quite yet. Key's corner. Came off the Celtic boot last. Lubin's making a nuisance of himself. Here comes the change. Francis Jeffers, who only joined from the Newcastle Jets in February, replacing Stephen Hamill. Holding midfielder withdrawn, a striker who, thanks to his loan spell at Rangers five or so years ago, won't get the warmest of receptions from the Celtic fans. Would delight him to score against them here. Here's Sutton. Murphy will leave it for Gunning. It's the most attacking change that Stuart McCall could have made, really. There's 18 minutes or so to see if it'll pay off. This is Hooper. He makes the run. Look at the Motherwell players swarming around any green and white shirt that gets close enough to that area. The problem with that, of course, is they have so many players back, they can't launch a counter-attack forward. This is key. It's already hit one from distance. Randolph down nicely. Celtic are finishing with the greater momentum, though. Commons this time getting the shot away. Managers out on the edge of their technical areas. Approaching the final 15 minutes. Can they work Francis Jeffers into the game? Motherwell, can they get enough support up there to support Sutton and Jeffers? Murphy has had precious little joy down the left. Humphrey has seen much of the attacking play down the right-hand side. Where the threat of Anthony Stokes at the other end. attendance to shy of 50,000 people inside Hampden Park Ends up being a good ball. Gunning is the man trying to close Commons down. Oh, it's driven across and it's an own goal! Celtic have surely wrapped up the cup now. Motherwell concede in the most unfortunate circumstances. Hutchinson puts through his own goal and Celtic have a two goal cushion. Spinning away. I'm not sure. 
Hutchinson didn't get the final touch. It was already over the line before the defender tried to scramble it clear. Randolph beaten and Celtic are within 15 minutes. The captain with the most unfortunate of errors. Trying to just whack it clear. Just when it seemed the game was still in the balance, the most unfortunate of own goals. Got his first goal in the best part of five years in the semi-final win over St Johnston. That is a cruel, cruel way to hand the trophy to Celtic, unless... There is still 15 minutes a goal now, and everything changes. Got it. Oh, it falls nicely. Francis Jeffers, first real touch of the ball. Saw him open up a side of goal. Murphy, oh, it's gone all the way through. I'll have to work something into the game somehow now. Celtic want the corner, Motherwell will have the goal kick, but they only have 12 minutes or so to turn this around. Seem to come off Hutchinson last. Does Stuart McCall have one more change in mind? Celtic fans only have one thing on theirs. Silverware, which has been missing from the trophy cabinet since 2007. Silverware of any kind has been missing for two years. Celtic already lead the way in terms of Scottish Cup final wins. This would stretch that to 35, putting them two ahead of Rangers. Here comes that change. Jamie Murphy, who's had a disappointing afternoon comes off and Steve Jones replaces him on loan from Walsall since January and a wonderful chance actually inside a minute against Celtic last weekend to score if he could get one inside a minute of coming on here that will turn things around Foster has been largely untroubled, but... It's nicely done, Cicera Kire. Stumbling through, the referee elects not to point to the spot. There was definitely contact. The fact he was honest enough to stay on his feet may have cost him a penalty.
Hooper, nicely done. Motherwell are opening up now. It may not be a reward though for Commons, despite a really enterprising display. Played on side by Hutchinson. That is his last action of the final. Nine minutes to go. Chris Commons departs, having played his part. James Forrest, the man left out in preference to Commons for this final, comes on. And who said beforehand the players owe it to the fans and Neil Lennon to win today. Looks like they're keeping their side of the bargain. Pass just has enough on it for Randolph. And they will have a free kick, but eight minutes to go. Need to employ the same never say die attitude that their manager had as a player. But they also need to start making the most of their set pieces. Celtic have enough to get it clear. Gunning, it's a high one, testing for Foster. Probably the sensible option was to punch. Too long. As I get it. Sutton's pressure, not enough. Movens safely back to Fraser Forster. Like ending his loan spell from Newcastle United with some silverware. Made his debut in a win at Motherwell back in August and has played every Premier League match since, despite uh, missing out in a couple of cup competitions. Six and a half minutes. A stoppage time between Neil Lennon and a first piece of managerial silverware here. of Humphrey and he's still going Celtic looking for a third Stokes is waiting for the pullback which never came <laughs> approaching the final five minutes it's becoming now or never time for Motherwell to deliver this one downfield. Lennon has talked about restoring pride. He says under him the club has improved and tidied up defensively. The midfield's as good as they've had for a long, long time. Pride is about five minutes away from being... Well, he's partially restored. Didn't say it was a successful season. A title win would have made it that.
finished off by Hooper, Celtic with plenty forward still, they may be 2-0 up, but they're not thinking about conserving the lead, just adding to it. Pulled back, and brilliantly so, but nobody had anticipated it. This is Jones, stopped in his tracks. scorer of that all-important first goal and that looks like a free kick Cregan already booked right on the edge of the box well that would be just the worst possible ending to his afternoon he's already scored an own goal the last thing he wants is a red card or indeed to concede a penalty it was mighty close its way back the goal now would be a final insult Mulgrew is thinking just that Charlie Mulgrew it's three and Celtic can start celebrating in style a thunderbolt of a strike and Celtic can open the champagne now. Unstoppable. Puts the cap on a fine display. No chance at all for Darren Randolph. He buried a free kick here in the semi-final. He's buried another one to make it 3-0. No goal for Gary Hooper, but he will depart with a round of applause and a medal to come. Paddy McCourt gets the final couple of minutes or so. It's been some season for Hooper. And McCourt, who picked up goal number four of the 4 0 win against Motherwell last week, gets the final few moments of the Scottish Cup final. Before McCourt looking for it again. On that occasion, it was uh, weakened Motherwell's side, you could say. Six changes for this one. They trail with 60 seconds to go by three goals to nil. Might yet be a consolation. Maestrovic ensuring it won't come from that cross. At 1 0, it was still alive, and 2, you still felt there was an opportunity with an early goal back, but Stuart McCall's side have little prospect, even in the three minutes of additional time that are about to come up. It's all about pride now. This is Jones. Crosses a deeper one. Sutton's there. Cregan is there. Another one, one another corner. Celtic fans all around Hampden Park have already started the victory songs.
quite apt for Neil Lennon, who might have felt at times this season like he was walking alone under a hail of pressure from all sides. He has not had the easiest of rides, both on the football field, particularly at Tynecastle early in the month, and off it. This will be his justification. Little doubt that the fans are behind him. After this, surely the board too. It's only a six-month rolling contract, which he says he's happy with. Celtic have a winning end to their season. Gunning, looking to end his particular game on a high. Here comes Celtic once more. Cragen with a challenge to clean one. Needed to be, that would have been a second yellow card. This is Aguirre. Can he cap his standout individual season with something special here? Into the crowd it goes. More time is eaten up. And Celtic edge towards the final whistle. Expect a real cacophony of noise around this stadium. The whistles have already started from those in green and white. One look at the watch from Callum Murray. And the wait is over. It's Celtic's cut. week they dramatically won the Scottish Cup but today belongs to Neil Lennon and Celtic Key's goal started it in the first half a thunderbolt to give them the lead Stephen Cregan's own goal was bitter pills for him to swallow Charlie Mulgrew's free kick was another special it's the first piece of silverware in two years. It's the first of Neil Lennon's reign at Celtic. Key also got the man of the match. For a while it looked like his goal may be the only one of the game. He gets the medal. And now the turn of Scott Brown. The Celtic captain cannot wait to get his hands on the silverware. but it all feels worthwhile. Maybe a while before the fans leave the stadium, they're nice and dry. But as the fireworks begin, Celtic can look back on a, a season which has come to a winning end.